we've got a little bit of rain going today. It's after church, but I'm going to get up and hang some lights. I just put a couple of black pipes up in the rafters there, and we've got a couple of my uh, LED PARs. I'm going to hang that pair up there. i got another pair that's in the garage, but I'd have to walk in the rain to go get them. So I'm going to see how far I can get, and then I've got to figure out how to get power to these. From this spot, the closest power outlet is going to be, um, yeah, right there below the spinning death device. <laughs> so, may not power them, but I'm going to see if I can get them hung and then see if I can sort out uh, running DMX and that kind of thing. All right, for those wondering, these are Elation Opti QA PAR M6s. Uh, they run on a Soka, no, not a Soka. Forget what this power, PowerCon connector. And we've got three and five pin DMX in and out. So they're a pretty nice little par. I got them from <laughs> Four Wall out in California. Actually, when I was living out there, we went out and picked them up. But that's what they look like um, when they're off. And then that's what they look like when they're on. So we're trying to get this set up. I'll give you a little bit more of a, a look once I get that fourth one up there. I had to take it apart from another uh, light fixture. I had it in a, a Fresnel just to give it some effect. But uh, let me show you the console. This is the ETC EOS console software. It's not going to mean a whole lot to y'all, but this is where I've patched those uh, lights. And then we have a virtual terminal where I can turn those on and I can actually, if I've got them selected, 3332 at, uh, let's go 88, uh, then I can go up here and you can see that it's a color. So I built this little uh, console, let me spin it around because north is not north. Uh, um, so this was made out of the Don Earl clapboard blank and I took the Dremel and made it so I've got these four zones in the middle so I can actually turn off the zone I'm in here to kind of feel the lights dim and go out we can dim those and those and I'll leave the lights on just in the gym area but now if I turn the ones off where Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. That one. Those will dim, and then we can start to see kind of the effect that we're going for in here, which is to be able to, to kind of create this little mood look within that area. And I gotta play with how far those are. I think they need to be further apart and uh, spun around so the wash works a little bit better. But that's the idea. So this morning, I'm going to hook up my backup internet service provider. <laughs> at and has been a little wonky, and so I'm going to have a failover um, system that will be Starlink. So up there on the roof of the shop, I'm going to install the Starlink dish. Wire runs down the wall. It's that uh, gray wire there that kind of runs down and into the cluster of mess, but it's a pile here on the floor. Then we've got the Starlink adapter or Wi-Fi thingy. So that's the deal. It's got a power cord and then I bought the optional Ethernet adapter. So we're gonna wire that up into our switch. So one of the pairs, or this pairs, <laughs> like there's only two sets of wires. The One of the Cat 6's runs back to the house and I plug that into the Dream Machine. So I'll just have to run this down and plug it in and get it all wired up and we'll see if it goes live. Well today is going to be kind of a clean up the yard day, I think, or morning. We were uh, going to go see the blind here in a little bit, but I got a bunch of this junk sitting around that's just, there's clutter, there's down lim limbs and things. So I'm going to spend a little time, take the farm truck around and uh, pick some stuff up. Well, I did one load over in that one area earlier. Here's a little bit that I've been just been picking up around here, but I thought what I would do while I was over in this part of the yard is check on my 
gopher tortoises. This, in case you're wondering, the width of the den is the size of the tortoise. This one I think he's just using to get under the fence to his main hole, which is right there. You can see the tailings or the mess that he makes as he cleans up the inside. We got one there with two entrances. And you can see the tailings pile or whatever you want to call it over here, this one. These guys must be buddies. But this one is a little bit taller and not quite as round or as wide. So we got uh, gopher tortoise there. There's a couple of more over on that side of the yard by that fence. But uh, yeah, just kind of cruising around picking stuff up. Hey, Thor. Just hanging out. I'm getting a good size load out here, but I also have my Ever watchful buddy. Don't worry. Hey buddy. Just keeping track of things. I haven't checked some of this stuff in a while. This is air filter. Let's see what it looks like. Not too bad. Sit back up in there. Let's see how the water level is looking. It's in there. That's all good. And oil. I think oil's around on the other side. Yeah, right down there. Been sitting, so it should measure about right. Yeah, it's halfway between the dots. That should be good. All right. That is all under here. Now, last one is down in here, which is the hydraulic fluid. It is hard to read on there, but it's about middle, about halfway down. So that's all good. Get the door open and uh, see about rolling this guy out. And I think I'm going to put the brush hog rotary cutter on it. All right, I spared you the drama of me wrenching that thing on there. It takes two hands and it's hard to hold the camera and do that, but there we go. So PTO's on. We're all set. Hey, Thor, you just hanging out? Well, I'm going to go to church, so, yeah, you want to go too? Yeah, okay, well, cats aren't really a thing at church, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, we'll play a church video. We, we can watch the sermon later, okay? All right, bye. Well, today is a really nice, cool day. Cool being in the mid-70s. So I've been kind of dreading doing some of the work 
because it's been so hot uh, out around these trees in the front yard. The grass and, and junk is kind of piled up around them. So I think I'm going to take a little time and scrape some of that uh, stuff away from the tree so I have a little bit uh, more of a buffer as we take the zero turn around and, and mow, make it easier for Karen. So that's part of what I'm going to do today. And that's one of the tasks. Um, there's so many things I got to get done, but that's what I'm going to start with because it's cool. So I think before I get to working in the front yard, get the store open, I'm going to take the farm truck. I got one lap to go through the forest and I want to pick up some of the stuff I uncovered. I didn't film, but yesterday I took the bush hog, the rotary cutter as they call it, out and about and cleaned up a little bit of the landscape. So hopefully I can pick up some of the logs that I ran over <laughs> with the tractor. You know, you don't find things uh, underneath all the rubbish and the vines and stuff. We got a lot of muscadine and uh, green briar growing out here. So I didn't find some of those logs that I had fallen and whatnot. So I'm gonna pick those up. Then I'll have the farm truck go out and start working on this uh, this other bit. So this is the area I wanted to work with. <clears throat> you can see I kind of drug things through with the rotary cutter, but that's all right. I think I want to trim up this limb. It's a little bit in my way. So we'll get that going. And then uh, over in here, I had a bunch of stuff I was dragging around. Um, there's a tree stump there. But back in here, there's a couple of logs. So we'll pick all that up. I had cut them, but they got buried and lost so we'll get those out of here so hopefully next time I can rotary cut in here a little bit better and uh, we'll get that done grab my gloves I got a couple pieces over here that need to get picked up I suppose I could have moved the farm truck closer <laughs> Too rotted, this stuff still has pretty good weight to it. That one's definitely rotted. Got a big tree stump there. 
What else we got hiding in here? funny when you drive through here you don't see little things like this but they sure throw the tractor for a loop and this is so rotted Get down tree from a while ago <clears throat> kind of a drainage gully that runs through here. It's supposed to get the property drain in. This tree fell. This mound of sand I'm on is actually that tree trunk there. I think it stretches a little further. It might have come from that tree over there. But anyway, this, uh, there's a rotted tree there. So I want to cut this piece out here so I can get through here. And maybe get this gully going again so the yard drains good. And I got all this palmetto to clear out. So that may not come out easily with the backhoe and tractor. So I'm going to cut it up a little bit and get it out. All right, now I just got that little lump of dirt from that fallen tree that we cleared out to do. This will follow, the creek kind of goes this way, and oh, actually goes that way. So through there, where in the world does it go from here? There's another tree limb down there. That goes up over there. Well, let's see. Where do it go? There's some oak down. Spider web. Uh, not really sure. I can see. I can make it through. I'll have to bring the rotary cutter through here. Just plow through it and see where it goes. All right, so now I'm going to get to cleaning up around these trees. You can see there's just grass growing up, and I can clear a little bit of that, give a little border. All right, so there's what we got. I'm not going to get super fancy because it's just going to grow back. But I wanted to get a little bit of that berm pulled down. Well, in case any of you were wondering if a bug's life was a real, real-life kind of story, there you go. Sorry, Hopper. Flick's got you on this one. <laughs>